Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you all the pink bags that I have in my collection. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. So in line with the new Barbie movie that's coming out, I thought it would be great to show you all the pink bags that I have in my collection. Frankly, I've already filmed this like once and it was like sometime in February after I came back from Bangkok because I was so inspired by Blackpink. I wanted to do like a video on like all my pink bags and all my black bags. Um, but I didn't really like how it turned out that's why I didn't post it so I thought I will refilm this and show you all the pink bags that are in my collection starting off with the very first bag in my collection is none other than my Lady Dior in a size small uh, this is the ABC Dior as well and it comes with the champagne gomu hardware so this bag is in lambskin and it's in this really really gorgeous like champagne gold hardware uh, I really love it so much it comes with feet as well so I feel like the small size is a great size for like every day it's not too big it's not too small the only gripe I have with it is with the strap because the strap is so thick so I typically do not use the strap so I've actually bought a strap that is like thinner so that I can wear this out as a crossbody style but if not I typically also carry this bag as like a handheld top handle carry situation and I just really really like it it's so pretty this is like in the blush pink color so I will say that in terms of wear and tear I do have some like metal rubbing on the top here I'm not sure if you can see it I do have like some rubbing from the metal bit over here so I would say that you just need to be really careful or like bring it into a spa um, or like maybe when you're storing the bag to put a layer of like tissue or like cloth on it so that the metal bit doesn't like sit on the bag I feel like it's set on the bag a little bit too long that's why there was like an indent over there so I feel like that's something to bear in mind <laughs> I was a little bit upset about it to be very honest I'm not even sure what caused it so because when you store the bag I store it upright like that the metal bit is also not even touching um, that bit over there so that's why I was a little bit like annoyed about it in all honesty so yes this is my very first pink bag that I really really love the second pink bag that I have is actually this pink and silver Prada Clio bag uh, it has a metallic oh my god <laughs> hit my nose over there it has a metallic uh, leather strap over here and it's part of like the Mother's Day collection uh, Clio bags that is, comes in this really really nice like fabric over here I really love this as well I've already done like a review video on the Prada Clios so if you have not seen that I'm gonna link it up over here I feel like there's not a lot of bag reviews on the Prada Clio bag so I think someone actually commented like okay finally someone reviewed on the Prada Clio bags it was like quite a nice comment um, so yeah, if you're interested in the Prada Clios, you can definitely watch that video just to have a feel about it. So the Prada Clios typically have like this slanted uh, bottom over here but it makes their base like a little bit larger so that you can fit more things and then it just tapers up to the top as well. So I really like this bag. It's mainly a shoulder bag. Whenever I carry this bag, I feel like a princess because it's so pretty. Look at all the shimmers on it so so pretty for those of you who are new here my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy this kind of videos do consider subscribing click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos the next pink bag I have is actually a vintage one and it's none other than the Bottega vintage vanity bag that I have I've spoken about this bag quite a few times on my channel um, because I really think that this is worth looking at so recently whilst I was in Japan I popped by Bottega and I realized that they have a new bag style and it kind of looks like this exactly like this just that the styling wise is a little bit different and in all honesty I kind of like prefer the vanity version the vintage one so this bag is actually not a handbag it's actually a vanity 
bag like a makeup bag from Bottega like back in the day and you have this like popper over here that allows you to carry like top handle and there's also like a really secure like zip over here and it fits so many things um, so I'm really really glad I actually bought this bag I don't think I got it for really cheap for what it is as a vintage bag but I think that it was so worth it it looks so so new and i just think that i've gotten quite a bit of use out of this bag as well the next pink bag that i have is also a vintage style it's this fendi pochette and it looks like that it's a bit like scruffed up because i've been storing it away but i really love this bag as well i think they call it like a pochette if i'm not wrong so it's not like a mama baguette or anything but it kind of looks like a baguette which I will show you later on it comes with a very secure zip as well and then inside is just lined with like fabric and it's very very clean and there's also like a pocket at the back so I tend to typically bring this for travel because this fits my long travel wallet if you know I have this green travel wallet that I bring with me all the time it kind of fits it so I really really like carrying this and it's just really just goes with everything I really love this bag um, that's why I haven't really like got rid of it because I feel like this is like my go-to travel bag like I feel like this is something that I will carry with me when I travel because I feel like it's a very good like day to night situation or if I'm back in the hotel and we are going somewhere like for a quick bite then I'll carry this bag as well because it fits my long wallet so yes this is a very good one so the next pink bag that I have is also from Fendi it is their new version of the baguette style so this is the Fendi baguette and this is part of the, the I think the Chinese Valentine's Day collection and they had all these like various uh, colored fabric printing like embroidery stitch onto it I really like this bag because it's so so special I fell in love with like the pink and red shade of this and the hardware is just so so pretty and so shiny I've had this for a really long while and I don't even like see any form of like scratches on it whatsoever so it's really really sturdy and hardy and inside fits a lot of things so if you compare this to like the Fendi uh, vintage style you can see that there's some difference but obviously this is not, not the vintage baguette in the first place it's like a Fendi vintage pochette so yeah you can actually fit a lot more because this kind of like tapers out like that so the base is actually like quite wide so it looks it can fit a lot more than you can imagine so I really really like these two like baguette styles that I have in my collection and they are coincidentally both pink in color as well the last pink bag that I have to show you is actually a new bag I have not even used it at this point of time when I'm filming this video and it's none other than the APC uh, grace bag so this is the grace bag in the small size uh, they also have this bag in the mini size but I picked it up in the small size I have not used it yet I feel like I'll just probably only use it when I'm back from my trip so it looks like that it's so so gorgeous I love it it's the perfect perfect shade of pink I feel like this one is very similar to the Hermes moth pill shade like the new moth pill shade that they have in their store so I picked this up because it kind of like matches my sandals that I have so I can't wait to use this and it comes with like a magnetic closure which is very easy so you just kind of like pop it up and then you pop it back into place so it also comes in the accordion style there is like one big compartment here and two smaller compartments at the side here in all honesty I don't think I will make use of like the smaller compartments simply because they are kind of narrow so I don't really want to like uh, engorge this bag too much um, because it might change in shape I don't know um, but it's so, it's so pretty I love 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 this shade of pink so much and yeah I can't wait to use her so I think that's it for all my pink bags in my collection are you guys watching the Barbie movie? I'm not sure if they're going to air it on the plane but if they're going to premiere it on the plane then I might catch it on the plane I feel like there's mixed comments on the movie so you either like it or you don't like it <laughs> 
but yeah I just want to watch it because it looks really nice there's Ryan Gosling in it so yes we all love Ryan Gosling anyway as you can see I do have quite a bit of pink bags in my collection I feel like pink is like my favorite pop of color um, other than neutrals would you consider gold as like a pop of color because it's kind of like champagne metallic right but other than gold and other than neutrals and denim because denim is blue um, I feel like pink is my pop of color I really really love the color pink um, I used to really like pink and then I kind of like veered towards purple in like secondary school and then I don't know I just came back to the whole pink face after that and I still really really love pink as like a bright pop of color so Yes, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!